Hey YouTube, this is Kazuku back with another judge review and today I'm doing about Pathfinder. Now I'm very happy to finally get Pathfinder as I said when I got Big Ben. It's a figure that I grew up watching in the 90s and I especially grew up watching him back in the D cartoon season 1 or you can count it as season 3, the continuation of the original Sambo series. Uh, Pathfinder did appear in some of the Deke series, United We Stand, uh, the, the Viper Man, The Day at Alcatraz. He had some numerous good episodes for Pathfinder. Now Pathfinder is a great homage, original figure. Now the original figure did have his hip rifles, but here they didn't add them. He comes with his Weed Eater, a backpack from Pursuit of Duke, the machine gun, inspired from the original one an axe and a, and a flashlight and uh, a machete over here it's very I really like this figure I can't wait to unbox it and let's do his review I'm back and I've unboxed Pathfinder as you can look in the figure he's really awesome I really like him he's a great homage to his original toy now the club really did a great job with this figure you can see how he's holding his machine gun the weed eater which can rotate easily from here if you want I'm gonna take this off now the original figure did have two peg holes here to put his machine gun like this but they gave him a buckle for a general hug that you can put in and insert the gun now he shares the body of the GI Joe trooper from retaliation the body of stone the arms of uh, Colton from Retaliation, the head of Lifeline. Now, some people have been complaining about that the head sometimes fall off. Mine never felt off, but so you can actually put him like this, like Gonna Hide or Recondo, but I prefer him as it is like this. He also comes with a backpack where you can answer these uh, axe and machete. You also have a removable flashlight. Like this. You can answer it here. And the, the, ba the backpack doesn't hold very well, so you don't have to. I'm not putting it. It comes from Duke of uh, Pursuit of Cobra, Jungle Assault. As you can look, he's a great figure. I really like him. Now, Pathfinder did have numerous appearances in the Deke series. I don't know so much in the comics, but I know the IDW comics he did have appearances. Now, if you want a great episode for Pathfinder, you can watch the first episode of the Deke series after the five-part miniseries. United We Stand, when he, his friendship is put to the test with the Ambush, when they have to stop an attack from Cobra since they do only G.I. Joe um, out of duty. The second episode good for Pathfinder is a one officer and a Viper Man when him and Topside and Ambush have to infiltrate Cobra to prove General Hawk that he's not a traitor. The second episode you want to watch is Friendship with Gridiron. Yeah. Now he did have another appearance and stuck on you when uh, it wasn't that good episode but he also had a major role in this episode. Now, what I like about Pathfinder that, although that he wasn't one of my G.I. Joe figures when I had as a kid, but he was always one of the characters that I liked growing up watching in the cartoon. He was voiced by Gary Choke, the one who voiced Optimus Primal and Transformers Armada, Cybertron, and Energon. Pathfinder shared a great friendship with Ambush, Topside, and Gridiron, and he had a lot of similarities to my character, to my personality. That's why I really like him and when he wanted to get him. As for articulation, he does have the, the double knees here. His legs can go. He has the ankle rock rotation. He does have the, the, the uh, shoulders that can rotate, elbows. He has the wrist movements. His head isn't is not on a ball joint because of the vest or the head is too so pressed in so doesn't enter. That's his file card. You wanna read it? Jungle Assault Specialist, Code Name Pathfinder, File Name, Irunati Williams, Specialist, First Specialty, uh, Jungle Assault Specialist, Secondary Specialty, 
Forward Observator Recon Birthplace Key West Florida. You can unpause this file card to read it. Why not do a quick comparison between the Jungle GI Joes? Uh, Rakondo, the one I got, I gave him a sniper, the one from Low Light, and Gunner Hide, the jungle Cobra Trooper of the Dreadnoughts. What I like that these guys, I don't know if they made an appearance together on a fight against each other, I don't know, but they did appear together in a big series. Like he's the G.I. Joe jungle and this is his counterpart. And let me know what you think of the background. I decided to try something new. Now I'm working on another background, much better, bigger. Anyway, let me know what you think. And anyway, the club have officially announced uh, the FS Five characters. I'm gonna leave a link below for the characters that they mentioned from the website, the uh, Joe Battle Lines. Watch them and thank you for watching. This is Zed Kaizuku. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll be doing some reviews.